Hi everyone, and welcome back to the channel. If you follow my channel, then you no doubt have seen my American Bullfrog, Lucille. She's definitely become one of the fan favorites. And today I've been doing some maintenance on Lucille's paludarium. The pump stopped working, so I did a water change and replaced the pump. And while I was at it, I spruced things up a bit by adding a couple of new ferns and some fresh sphagnum moss. And of course, when all that was done, Lucille plopped her big fat ass down right on top of this new fern. Lucille can be really hard on plants and sometimes wreaks havoc on this paludarium. But he's a beautiful frog, and I love taking care of him. But that's not really what this video is about. I try to vary Lucille's diet as much as I can to give him some different types of nutrition. And one way I do that is to give him some fish to eat. Every now and then I stop at the bait and tackle shop and pick up a dozen bass minnows. And then I just let them loose in the paludarium. For adult bass, tadpoles and baby frogs are one of their favorite foods. And on the flip side of that, bass minnows are a favorite food for bullfrogs in the wild. Both of them breed in massive numbers, and it's a relationship where they each keep each other's numbers in check, and the strong survive to eventually breed again. I've never actually seen Lucille eat the minnows, but I know that he does, because whenever I put them in here, they just disappear over the next several days. Occasionally, one or two of them die, and I have to fish them out and dispose of them. Well, the last time I put minnows in here was about a month or two ago, and like usual, one by one, they disappeared. But this time, one of them managed to survive, and Lucille just seems to be leaving it alone. I don't know, maybe they've made friends, or maybe this one is just too fast for Lucille to catch. So it's been living in here with him. I don't even feed it, but it seems to be doing fine eating the occasional cricket or earthworm that drowns in the water. I've even seen it eating on pieces of broken down leaves and Lucille's shed skin. So in a way, it's helping me keep the paludarium clean. There are lots of different species of bass, and I don't know what this one is. The bait store just has them labeled as bass minnows. The most common species of bass in Indiana where I live is the largemouth bass. And according to the Indiana Department of Wildlife, an average largemouth bass grows to a length of 13 to 16 inches and weighs from 1 to 3 pounds. But some can even grow to 7 or 8 pounds. So I'm sure I'll, I'll eventually have to scoop him out of here and set him free in a pond or lake. I really didn't want a pet fish, but since this guy seems to be thriving in here, it looks like that's what I have. So I named him Neptune. But I have to admit, I'm enjoying watching him live in the paludarium with Lucille, and he seems to be pretty happy in here. So I'll continue caring for him, just like all the others in the reptile room. He's even inspired me to think about what other things might be able to live in here with Lucille. But I don't know what that could be. Both bullfrogs and bass will basically eat anything they can get into their big mouths. But I have thought about maybe trying to add a crawfish. So that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed meeting Neptune. Don't forget to like and subscribe, 
and I'll see you in the next video.